was introduced into the map pool two seasons ago. Huh. It'd be cool to see it on ladder, actually. Actually, uh, you know what? A whirlwind might have been in there a couple of, yeah, a couple of seasons ago. Then hmm. came Abyssal City was last season, I believe, and now this season, GSL uh, Belshire Vestige. <laughs> Seems right, like uh, Odd Davis. Alright. Odd Davis and uh, his red Protoss in our top left hand corner of GSL Whirlwind. That's right. In the lower right, we have our hero, Terran Arsico, who won the last match. So he is in, we are now in the round of 16. So here we go, guys. We'll see what kind of strategies these two players have. I don't expect anything different from Arsico. This is a large map. You can expand probably without too much uh, you know, harassment from anything on, from where he is on the map. Especially in these uh, cross positions, the distance is just incredibly long between these two uh, players' bases. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm expecting a one Rex Expo or a CC first from from Arsico. <laughs> look at that—he made a little heart with his uh, with his SCV. That's funny. What, yep. What I like to do is look at their APMs. Oh, okay. I see why All Davis did not want us to look. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't bronze, but uh, he did win the last game, so you never know. Yeah, I'll say so. The Terran is doing a 181, or about a 180 on the APM. He's just messing up his keyboard, something terrible. Whereas the Protoss is doing an all of 19 APM. Well, so. to be fair, there's not much to do at this stage of the game, but uh, <laughs> let, let, let's hope that, you know, gets a little bit higher when the engagement starts. So the Protoss is uh, just doing his normal thing, the Terran is doing his normal thing. It seems our Seiko doesn't know that it's cross positions only, I think. Oh well, I don't think it is cross positions only on this map. No, it isn't. No, no this map is large enough where I don't think it matters uh, if you're cross positions mm. or not. So, well, anyways, the uh, probe does come down to the uh, right base. He did cross, he did scout cross positions. He just got pretty lucky there. <laughs> he did. So it's another one Rax Expo from uh, our, from our Seco. Um, seems pretty standard from Red, except that he hasn't actually put people in gas yet. And there he goes. And there goes the cybernetic score. Command Center is about to get thrown down from our Seco. And uh, we'll see if he does the same build or it differs from the build he did last game. Well, it seems like the Marine just, <laughs> just forgot about this probe. Meant to kill it, but then <laughs> just ran past it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get out of the base too, and the marine's not going to catch. Oh, oh no! It turns around. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, don't turn no, around. No, why? <laughs> well, at least, uh, at least Red um, uh, Davis saw that there was no gas taken following those two racks, but definitely should have gone out of there as soon as possible. Did you take part in the uh, uh, deals that Blizzard has? Did you get? Uh uh, you said you already played Diablo, so you already had it. But how about the twenty dollars for Wings of Liberty? That's a that's another account for twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I, I thought about it, but it wouldn't actually be for me. It'd be for someone else. But true. I don't know. I already have my brother's account as well. So if I really want to, you know, Smurf or something like that, I can just hop in his account real quick and just <laughs> fool around. <laughs> there you go. All right. So it seems like Odd Davis is supply blocked. And he's throwing down a forge. Wow. Pretty, uh... Interesting build, I suppose. Meanwhile, uh, our green Terran is throwing down one gas. It seems like he's not changing anything from the last build since, uh... Even last no. game, when he got his uh, gas taken away from him from the Protoss, he threw down one gas, and here he's doing the same thing. Tech Lab is going down from our green Terran as well, so should be expecting a uh, stim or combat shield upgrade soon after. Our Nexus is coming down from our red Protoss, so... Excellent job there, Protoss. Excellent job. You got two gates up, you have your forge, you get your Nexus down. Good job. Good job. Exactly. You have four Zell at the top of the ramp. <laughs> Ooh, a scan. He's going to see just about everything here with this scan. He's not, going to that, uh, he's not going to see the expansion, but he will see all of the uh, he the two gates of Cybernetics Core 
Do you see the uh, forge with that scan? Uh, yeah, yes. I believe so. He did. Yes, he did. Third gate going down and another pylon. Good job. What I see uh, a lot of Terran players do actually, they scan um, like on the ramp kind of to see if there's an expansion and see most of the production facilities from our, from the Protoss. So it was a good scan, but uh, definitely. Interesting placement of the scan, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> It's, it's like one of those ladder scans, you know, just scan just because you're in the ladder and you don't know, like... <laughs> exactly what the person's doing. What's going doing. on over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like our green Terran is supply block for a bit, but he's throwing down his uh, third gas. Um, there goes his factory as well, so... Bio play once again. Getting the factory, that's going to lead right into a starport. He's going to have, you know, all the usual M&M &M 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 things. Bit of X, all the bio, marines, marauders, all that good stuff. He's really bunkered in here. He has two bunkers. He has a couple supply, one supply depot at the top of the ramp because the other supply depot is not his. And so he has a good, good like choke area going on here. He's totally safe. Engineering bay in front of the natural. The Protoss is, has expanded, getting a gas, getting both gases at, at the natural. Uh, has warp gate, has three gates, has a forge down, which uh, did he get an upgrade on the forge? He's getting shields. That is very peculiar. Interesting. Huh. Wow. Hmm. Okay, Twilight Council's going down. Oh, oh, might be going for some blink play here, or maybe even yeah. So many zealots might go for either. I mean, you can go for charge or yeah. blink and be good. In this position, I'd probably say charge. My he's flying nine robotics. That is weird. Hmm. So he's going for Twilight and for robotics. Huh. Yeah, you don't normally see this. Uh, normally, when you get a Twilight, you just go straight up blink stalkers, or you go, or you put down a Temple Archives and go. Uh, Archons and uh, charge zealots, but we'll see what he does. Oh, he cancels. Oh, cancels the robo. Hmm. Huh. All right. Uh, so he could th throw down a uh, high Templar like um, shrine. I don't even know what it's called. Templar archive. Templar archive. <laughs> <laughs> That's high right. Templar shrine. That's right. You play. You play Terran, so you might not be. <laughs> and he and does. <laughs> He does, he, he does throw down on Templar Archives. Alright, so he, he probably will go uh, for some High Templars and get Charge, you would think. In fact, he is. He's getting, he's, yes, he's he chronoing out Charge right now. Um, Odd Davis definitely needs to put his guys on gas. There he goes, that is natural. Um, since he's going for that Templar Archives, he needs all the gas he can get. That's right. So Medivacs are about to pop out for a Green Terran, and Combat Shields is uh, about one quarter of the way done, so push is definitely on its way. That's right, he has four, is it one, two, three, four, five barracks now with that troll factory that he made. It's flo floating across the map and uh, here we go, the push from the uh, bio is out in the middle of the map, taking the Zolnaga Tower. So he has all the vision in the middle, uh, which is not very much on this map. I mean, having the vision in the middle would be... <laughs> so, here we go. So now that Protoss is positioning himself at the top of the ramp, uh, we're gonna have a little, little bit of a battle or engagement here. It looks like. See seems how it like, uh, seems like Odd Davis uh, was a bit scary throwing out some cannons at his base. Oh yeah, you know. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. The Terran is here. He's gonna march right on the ramp. Oh, he's not using his alarmy, Protoss. He needs to use his alarmy. Like half his army was divided. Yeah. Uh, no. Yep, no force just... fields. No force fields, nothing here to stop this Terran. He's going to lose everything in here. He's going to lose the whole natural. Uh, there's nothing here to stop the Terran whatsoever. The Protoss just didn't have enough. And, uh, yeah. GG from Al Davis. GG. And Arsico is in the round of eight.